Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a Bath & Body Works haul. So I did do a little bit of shopping for the semi-annual sale. I could, did get some good stuff, um, but my bag is very heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm not going to go in any particular er order. Uh, I'm just going to pull things out and share them with you. Uh, so on my receipt, it says that total discount was $229.55. And I spent $245.85. So I think I saved a good amount. So if I would have bought everything full price, I would have spent $475 with, I believe, 40 cents. Um, so I did save uh, about 220 I did save 200 and about $30. So I feel like that was a good discount. Um, but yeah, I went to the Bath & Body Works at my one of my nearest malls. Um, and I didn't go on the first day because I couldn't. I had... Um, um, I had a family gathering to attend and then we had gone to the movies in the morning to watch the new Jurassic Park movie which was really good um, so I wasn't able to shop the first day but I was able to go on the second day which was um, June the 12th and I did have a coupon that I could have used but I completely forgot about it like I was so in the moment of like looking for things that um, I wanted to get or like discovering new things that they had out that I didn't even cross my mind that I had the coupon with me and it was a 20% off coupon so I wasn't able to use that unfortunately because I forgot so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling things out and I'll share with you guys what I got so the first thing I have is the Canyon men's cologne and this one it smells really good the um, as we walked into the store there is a guy who um, actually like sprayed it on one of those um, like the smell cards that you can t use to test the uh, scents and it smelled really good so my boyfriend really uh, liked it so I was like okay well you can go ahead and get it it was on 50 I think it was 50% off and it smells really good um, so he got that and then he also got the matching uh, body wash he wasn't going to but I was like well might as well just get it so he did get the matching body wash to go with it and this one's actually supposed to be like a, a three in one hair face and body wash but he usually just uses it as a body wash itself so he got these two things for him uh, the next thing I got was the firecracker pop aloe plus vitamin e shower gel this one i didn't think i was gonna be really into it but it actually smells really really good and i don't know it smells kind of fruity like candy-ish um and the notes are fresh cherry which i do get a lot of cherry fresh fresh citrus and juicy berry and i actually really liked it and my boyfriend really liked this so i got this for us we're probably gonna share it so I got that the next thing I got was the into the night uh, fragrance mist with the matching body cream and I love this scent this scent is so good um, they did change the packaging I think I kind of preferred the old packaging which was a little bit um it was a little bit cuter but this one's you know just simple um, but I love this uh, fragrance it smells really good um, the notes are raspberry noir, noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy pacholi, and mocha must. And it's just a really, it's like a, I feel like this would be like a perfume. It kind of reminds me of like a perfume. But I can't really put my finger on which one. But yeah, this smells really good. Like it's a good like. I feel like going out type of scent so I got actually two of these and I might keep one for myself might give one away to a family member but I got two of the into the night fragrance mist and body cream um, but then I did also get the uh, shower gel for myself I just really wanted it because I love the smell I have had this um, 
Um, I have had this uh, fragrance mist with the body cream before. Like, I used it and I really liked it. So I got the body wash for myself um, or the shower gel. And then I also did get myself the Bath & Body Works Whipped Berry Meringue Fragrance Mist with the body cream. And I thought I wasn't going to like anything from this collection. I'm pretty much I didn't like anything but this one. So I did get this one for myself. And it smells really good. It's kind of sweet but not overly sweet. And I don't like too... I don't like scents that are too too sweet because it kind of grosses me out. Uh, but these ones, this one is a really good um, sweet but kind of fruity-ish scent. So it kind of like works really well together. Uh, the notes are fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And I do love the scent of vanilla. My boyfriend loves the scent of vanilla. Um, but I also like like fruity scents. So I think this one works really well. And um, yeah, I got this one for myself. Uh, the next thing I got was the Japanese Cherry Blossom Fragrance Mist with the um, Body Lotion. And they didn't have the body cream for this one, so I just bought the body lotion, which uh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I've had this scent before. I've given it to family members um, before, and they really like it. It's just a very, like, it's... I don't know, it's like a very clean smell and a little bit floral, but it's not overpowering you just when I used this before I just really enjoyed it because I felt very like clean and I don't know I just love that like clean feeling and clean like smell that you get once like when you get out of the shower and then you put your lotion and their spray on because it just I don't know it just makes you feel really nice this has Japanese cherry blossom Asian pear fresh mosa uh, petals white jasmine blushing sandalwood I don't know what blushing sandalwood means. I'm assuming it's just regular, like just sandalwood, but they added the blushing in there to make it a little bit more um, fancy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it also says America's most iconic fem feminine fragrance. Uh, Japanese cherry blossom is loved for its timeless, authentic beauty. Which yeah, I think this is one of like the top fragrances collections that they came out with because I feel like this one is just. You can't really go wrong when maybe wanting to give something to someone because this one's just very a very clean scent but not overpowering either so i really like this one um so my boyfriend's mom actually really liked this scent as well i don't know if she had ever like like smelt uh smelt smelt I don't know that's word sounds kind of wrong to me right now um but yeah she really liked this one um she was really into the moonlight path and that one's a really good one as well um but it's a uh, discontinued fragrance so it's usually only available online but i did see it in store when i went on a sunday for to look at like what was on sale um so i don't know if it's just for the next couple days that they're gonna have it for the sale because it wasn't on like the sale rack um or not the sale rack but like the sale tables it was where you would buy three for three i believe is the deal where you get three and you get three free or something like that but that one is that one is a very good smell like scent as well it's very fresh and clean um which i think that one and this one are very similar in that sense where it's like very fresh clean scent but it's not like overpowering it's a really nice smell that anyone would like so yeah this one is definitely a goodie um so if you've never oops if you've never tried it before or you're looking for something a little bit like within a category then maybe you should try either Mulan path or japanese cherry blossom yeah, so the next one I have is Happy Vibes, and this is the Fragrance Mist with the Body Lotion as well. Like I said, I this one also didn't, I didn't see a body cream, um, but this is also one of uh, the fragrances that the uh, person who worked there um, sprayed on the little, like, tester thing for us, and I really liked it. It's very, it's just... It kind of reminds me of, like, summertime, so I think this would be a really nice scent for summer. It's very, it's 
hard to explain. Let me just read the notes. So the notes are pink citrus, crisp pear, fresh honeysuckle, sheer, sheer vetiver. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And dewy orchid. So yeah, it's very... I can definitely smell like the citrusy part to it. And I'm assuming it might be like the dewy orchid with the honeysuckle. But it's a very clean smell for summer. It's very refreshing, I feel like. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. And I think this would be a good scent for the summertime just to feel night and nice and refreshed especially when it's hot and muggy outside and you just don't feel the best um i personally don't like the summertime i hate sweating i hate feeling like gross um but i feel like this would kind of help like make you feel a little bit better when you're out and about or you usually do a little refresh you can spray this just so you can smell nice and clean the last body care item I got was the Hello Beautiful Body Cream. And unfortunately, I didn't find any more of the fragrance mist for this one. It was just a bunch of body creams that were in the bin. And I love this scent. I've had this scent before. I've given it to my mom, my aunts, my cousin. And they all, I believe, loved it. It's a very nice and... It's... I don't know. It's very hard for me to explain, like, smells... Um, but it's a really nice, I don't know, it's really hard to say. I don't know, I just really like the smell. It's, um, white gardenia, jasmine petal, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. And, I don't know, I feel like this is a, also one of, like, the fragrances that is not too over the top. Um, and it's a good... I would say fragrance for the summertime as well. It makes you feel nice and fresh. Um, it's not like overly floral, but it's also not too musky, I feel like. So I really like this one. I wish I could have found the, a fragrance mist, but unfortunately I would have to... I would think I'm going to try and go to another Bath & Body Works um, and see if I can find or see what other deals other Bath & Body Works have. Um, we are actually going to Reno this week like for Father's Day celebration. So hopefully um, my boyfriend will take me to the Bath & Body Works there just so I can see what deals they have and what they actually have in store. Um, but yeah, I hope I find this fragrance mist because I really like this one as well. It's, it's hard to not want to have like those staple fragrances which i feel like the hello beautiful the jasmine cherry blossom what other one the moonlight path i think i feel like those ones are very like staple scents that they bring back so i'm like i'm really happy about that i'm glad that they bring them back now the next thing i have is a wallflower um wallflower plug and the um and the little refills. Um, so the wallflower plug I have is, oh my god, I keep hitting the bag. I'm so sorry. Uh, the wallflower, the wallflower plug I got was this one, which is very simple, um, but it does light up, so it can be used as a night light, but also you know to give off a nice little fragrance, whether that be in the bathroom or the um, living room or in the bedroom. I feel like this would be really nice for someone who doesn't necessarily like burning candles. Or using any like room sprays I feel like this is good for you because you don't have to do really anything you just plug it in and make sure that it's on you just put in the little refills and you're good to go and the refills I got was the Aloha Ki Aloha Ki Aloha Kiki passion fruit and it doesn't oh yeah it does have the fragrance so for, for this one it's a tropical passion fruit radiant kiwi and juicy pineapple with essential oils um so i did get this one i think the color is really pretty i feel like this one's a really good like summer smell um but yeah i got this one the next one i got is cucumber melon cucumber melon is one of the scents that i love i actually do have the fragrance mist and the body lotion in my collection um so i love cucumber melon um they did bring it back in this really cute new packaging but i already have 
the old one um and i've had it for a while and i haven't used it yet but yeah i really love that scent um and it's just i feel like the cucumber with the melon melon is very like refreshing as well i don't know i just love that scent and then the last one i got was the mango mai tai and i thought this was really cute um just because it's uh, mango and then mai tai is a type of drink um so i thought it was really cute and i was actually able to uh, smell them in stores so i did like all of them i just didn't want to take the caps off uh right now now for what's left of this haul is candles i have a good amount of candles i used to buy like the three wick candles any time i would go into the bath and body works um but recently i had started only getting the single wick just because they take up a little um less space in the store where i keep them um so i was kind of debating whether to get these candles or not but i really like them so i got them and they're three wick three wick candles and they were all um 11.95 i believe was the deal which unfortunately is not that deal anymore but i believe they're still like i think they're right now they're like 12.95 uh, which is still great because some of the candles um are like 24 25 dollars i think some are even up to 26 which is crazy because i mean it's just a candle but I love Bath and Body Works so um, this one was one of the new candle collections they came out with it's the blend um, Bath and Body Works collection and this is the market peach and strawberry pound cake I didn't think I was gonna like this because it is more of a sweeter scent and I didn't think I was gonna like it because I just don't I'm not into like sweet scents like this but um, I did smell it in store and I don't I can't smell it right away because as soon as you take the lid off like you're just hit with the sweetness but like I don't even have to put it to my face I can smell it from me just holding it here I don't know it's like the sweetness of the pound cake with the market peach like the little bit of fruitiness in there I don't know it's I feel like it's a really nice combo and I actually really like it. Like, at first, when I first sniffed it, I was like, okay, like, that's way too much. But I feel like if you left this, like, open like this on, like, your desk or um, your nightstand and you didn't even burn it, like, I feel like it would... The room would um, fill up with the scent and you it would make it smell really good. But, yeah, I kind of... I'm kind of... Every time I sniff it, I'm kind of, like, more into it yeah i i didn't think i was gonna love it but i kind of love it the next candle that i got was another one from their uh blends collection and this one is cinnamon spiced vanilla and paris cafe this one i wasn't really sure about my boyfriend did really like it as soon as he um smelt it i wasn't really into it at first but like i said this is another one where you could just leave sitting on your desk without like a lid on and it would literally the whole room would smell like it oh my god now that i'm oh my god now that i'm like smelling smelling it even more like definitely can get get that like cinnamony and like coffee-ish like smell but i feel like it's a really good combination like if this was like if this is something like I don't know it just reminds me of like a pastry or something you would buy it to like at a bakery to eat or like this this makes me like think of like what a bakery would smell like it's actually really good i actually really like this one as well which i didn't think i was going to be into but the more and more i smell it the more and more i like it um the next candle i got was the cactus blossom and it came back with this different packaging i don't know if this is going to be like the permanent packaging for it now uh, but i did i do know it was like different before and i have had the i think i bought the fragrance mist and the lotion um for my cousin once as a gift and this one is so good um the notes are 
desert cactus flower petals, fresh sparkling citrus, warm vanilla coconut with natural essential oils. And it's not too floral. It's not too like citrusy, but it's also like not so like sweet with the vanilla. Like it's so this like this combo that they made is great. It's just really good and I love I did like I believe my cousin did like the fragrance mist as well and it's just a really good scent. Like I don't know. I think I feel like this would be a really nice spring scent to have. I did forget to read the notes for the other candles. So let me go back. So for the cinnamon and spice vanilla in Paris Cafe, the notes are ro rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, cream, creme, ground cinnamon, sugar crystals with the natural essential oils, which is great. I know the dogs are barking. Uh, for the market peach and strawberry pound cake, the notes are juicy peaches, golden shortcake, whipped cream with this natural, with natural essential oils. It's really good. For the next candle, I got the Blue Sky Breeze. And this one, I love the packaging. The packaging is super cute on this one. Very simple but cute. And this one, I feel like this one's definitely more of like a spring candle. Like, I, I don't know, it's like, it's fresh but also kind of like citrusy but almost kind of floral at the same time but I feel like this is a great like spring candle to burn like especially when you're doing all that spring cleaning you know you want the you know the freshness at your in your home I feel like this would be a great candle to burn during that time and the notes are morning spring air fresh violet petals crisp gala gala apples with English ivy and it smells really good very refreshing and the last two candles I got were actually Christmas scents and I don't have any Christmas candles yeah I don't have any like Christmassy candles in my collection right now I think I burned all of them I'm pretty sure I burned all of them this past Christmas that went by so I don't have any Chris Christmassy smells uh, but the one the first one I got was Tis the Season, and this one is like your standard, like fall, like Christmas smell. And this is what the packaging looked like. It's really cute. They ha also had a different packaging for this one, and it was like little reindeers on the front. Uh, but I got this one, and like the, you can see my camera, but the lid has snowflakes going around. It's really cute. <sighs> this is fall slash Christmas in a candle like it's like the standard Christmas seat like fallish Christmassy smell I love it the notes for this one is rich red apple sweet cinnamon and cedar wood definitely very cinnamony you can definitely smell like the apple in there the cedar wood um, but yeah it's just a beautiful yummy candle that reminds me of fall and christmas which i'm really excited for this year i'm already thinking about halloween and what i'm gonna decorate how i'm gonna decorate um and then the final candle that i have is the classic flannel candle in this really cute christmasy packaging and this one is i feel like is like just a staple that everyone pretty much buys every year um, and the notes for this one are fresh bergamot, heirloom, mahogany, soft musk. But this is definitely not like a, not definitely way different from this, this season. It's not like the typical like cinnamony smells like during the Christmas time. This one's more of like cologne -y smell. It smells like a man, like a cologne for a man. This is what it smells like and it, what it reminds me of. So if you're like into those type of scents, then this candle would be for you. I typically don't always go for smells like that just because sometimes I feel like they're really overpowering. And this smells, it is a strong scent. So if you don't really like scents like that, like more like men's cologne smells that are strong, you may not like it. But I feel like this is a staple, so I bought it. This is like also definitely a candle that you can leave like just sitting in your room or wherever without the lid and it would engulf the room. 
uh, with this really good smell. So that is all I got from Bath & Body Works uh, for the semi-annual sale. I'm going to try and go and see if my boyfriend will take me to the one that's um, near where we're staying in Reno to see what deals they have or what they have in store because there's definitely a couple things that I was still kind of looking for. Um, there's some things I saw online that weren't in the store that I went to so we'll see maybe they have some other goodies there that I'm able to get in store uh, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this Bath and Body Works haul definitely let me know if you're really if you purchase any of the same things I did and what you think of them especially like the new blended candles um I didn't think I was gonna like these scents but I feel like they're really good at least for me um I, I wasn't sure how that was gonna work with them blending these two like the scents together but I feel like I'm really into it and I hope they do it more with other different smells um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you did and if you want to watch more videos from me please go ahead and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>